So here's an interesting question for you guys, because see, this 155 business, five pound business, this isn't quite done. Where we can talk about the Chandler, a card that I believe was played correctly. And we can talk about the fact that the idea of having a feature 155 pound match on this card is largely to preserve the main event in some fashion. So we can talk about the fact that he is now in the batter's box and discuss what that means. Does that mean that he's the number one contender? I'm not here to tell you it does. I'm just telling it, it does to me. It means something to me. But we still haven't solved the problem, which is who's going to fight Tony Ferguson? And it would seem in many ways that that new sweepstakes is now open. Now, it, possibly we just have time to get Poirier and Tony back together. That seems to be the fight that people want to see. It does seem to be blowing in that direction. I must also disclose for you, there's a chance that I'm a little bit ahead of things as I'm sitting here talking to you. All I have for you is the addition of Michael Chandler's participation at Fight Island on some level. I do not have for you, and could be misrepresented in tone for you, that Tony is now officially off the card. That might not be what we're seeing right now. That's just my guess. Based on the clues that I have right this moment, before I get this piece to you guys, it's going to be about three hours. By the time I get the file done and I send it off to LA and then they upload it. However, this whole big thing, I'm about three hours behind. I'm disclosing that for you because I do believe that my guess is right that Tony is now not on the card. So I'm within bounds to then ask you, well, who should be fighting Tony then? I'm a little surprised to the point that I'm a little annoyed. It always annoys me when there's a major opportunity out there for somebody and they don't see something. The fact that we're over here discussing it and I cannot tell you like, well, a tweet just went out from X, but another tweet was sent out by Y. And of course, a tweet was sent out by Z and they're all begging for this fight. It annoys me that we're not in that time anymore, but it also encourages me that there's very good options. I mean, 155 pounds is so doggone hard. If Chandler can't get a title fight, he's going to want the next best thing. Possibly that is Tony Ferguson. Khabib has come out and said, anybody that gets through Dustin Poirier, boom, I put my name on a contract, period. Don't care about money. Don't care what you've done before. Your ticket to me goes through that kid from Louisiana. Okay. Well, maybe you want to start shifting your sights over that direction. It would just surprise me that nobody has yet come out. Paul Felder's coach came out. I haven't heard from Paul directly. I'm just saying it seems like there's a major opportunity here. It seems like if Michael Chandler has just proved anything to us, and it's a lesson that's going to be forgot tomorrow, that raising your hand and saying yes is the best way to get a job. Being available is the best way to get anything done within this sport, and that has not ever been a secret. And it shouldn't be, quite frankly. I don't think we should have to sit down with some kind of a grand jury and an arbitrator and lay out our cases and facts as to why we deserve an opportunity. Deserve an opportunity? That's a very real thing. That's a very real piece of the pie, but it's not the biggest one. Willing to take an opportunity is number one. Nobody's drafted to be here. Nobody has to be here. This was one of the major arguments that we succeeded in as an industry back in the day when people were trying to say this should be banned, it shouldn't even be legalized, and it's not even a sport, and it's too, too much contact. It's just too rough and tumble of a, of a thing. One of the major arguments that we hung our hat on is nobody has to be. Everybody wants to be here. You may have that opinion, but every fan that is here wants to be here, and every athlete who has participated has dedicated their life to this and would like to go out and show these skills in front of the world and be commended for it. That argument worked. It held up. A sport that was not legal anywhere is now not illegal in any jurisdiction within the United States and even abroad. And even abroad. So I do want to remind you of that. When I come to you and tell you the number one thing that you need to be to get an opportunity is willing to take it, I'm right. Chandler deserves a ton of credit here today. And nobody deserves to be knocked. Nobody. Poirier has done nothing wrong here. Tony Ferguson has done nothing wrong here. That match may be preserved. It just goes to another date. Fine with me. But there is an opportunity that's being missed if Tony has been removed from the card and does not yet have a partner. Tony Ferguson matters at that weight class. If you want to show that you matter, the road goes through Tony Ferg, and it looks like he's got a dance card that's open. Where are you guys at? 